Where's Mr. Kuiper? I don't know. Dance party. Taylor Wren and welcome to this edition of Spruce Creek AM. First we'll start off with the sports story on the girls tennis versus Fowler Lopez game. Here's James Rose. Hello, I'm James Rose, and today I'm with the Spruce Creek Hawks tennis team as they take on Father Lopez. Let's go check it out. Hello, I'm with Megan Zimmer. So, Megan, um, how many years have you been playing tennis? Um, it's been about six years now. I started when I moved here from Chicago. So you're number one on the team. Now, how exactly do they figure that out? Um, well, first we have like um, a ladder set up. Everyone plays everyone in a round robin. And then once the ladder is determined, you can challenge up a spot. You play a full match, two out of three sets, and you can keep challenging best two out of three times. So you have some college offers. So what are they? Um, well, I've actually just verbally committed to play for Fairfield University up in Connecticut. I'm here with Savannah Palmer. So Savannah, how long have you been playing tennis? Since I was about eight. How have you trained for this upcoming season? We have practiced like every day after school till five. I'm here with Josie Tong and Sydney Kohler. So what do you guys enjoy about Spruce Creek Tennis? Um, well, we're pretty much like a really big family and we pump each other up about all the matches and stuff. I like it because we work together really well and we get better and better every day. Thank you guys. The girls did great against this very hard Lopez team. Now the girls practiced for this meet very long and you can obviously tell in some of these clips. In conclusion, the girls came out with a great win over Father Lopez. Next we have quite a few events that took place recently to tell you about two here is Claudia Fernandez on Poetry Out Loud and the Volusia Dance Assessment followed by Courtney Fenwick's report on the 8th grade's orientation. Hello, I'm Bright House Varsity reporter Claudia Fernandez, and today we're going to be checking out the Poetry Out Loud competition. They've memorized two poems, and they're going to interpret them for you orally. They're not acting them out, they're just interpreting them. Gallows, do whose will? Who howls would? Never came away too soon. We're about to run a day. Those swift essays from shape of strength and symmetry to call. Deals out, the thing indoors, the turn well. Okay, I'm going to announce the five finalists in no particular order, okay? And we have Haley Howe, Christy Kim, Gabriel Savage, Wyatt Andrews, and Jillian Miley. Congratulations to Jillian Miley on the win at the Poetry Out Loud competition. Good luck on the next round. This is Claudia Fernandez signing off. Hello, I'm Courtney Fenwick here at the 8th grade orientation. Let's go meet some new freshmen. All right, what clubs are you guys representing tonight? Uh, Spruce Creek uh, Student Government. I'm representing Spruce Creek High School's German Club and on the side, FCA, Fellowship of Christian Athletes. Spruce Creek uh, Student Government Association. And how do you think tonight went? I think it went good. There was a lot of people that showed up and it was, it was good to see a lot of people excited to come to Creek. Very fantastic, very juicy, you know, just the kind of stuff that you want when it comes to having people come and talk to you about your clubs. 
it was it was off it was it was wonderful okay plenty of people here very enthusiastic parents involved i love seeing all the clubs here representing creek and for what it is Hello, what's your name? Brianna. And what middle school did you come from? Christ the King in Palm Coast. Sweet, thank you. Hello, what's your name? Sam. And what extracurriculars are you interested in? Uh, weightlifting and band. Sweet, thank you. Hello, what's your name? Zach. And what electives are you thinking about joining? Weightlifting. Cool. Hello, what's your name? Darren. And what electives are you thinking about joining? Uh, I'm going to be taking Spanish and weightlifting. Cool, thank you. Well, there you go. It's great to see how excited the class of 2018 is to be joining the Hawk family. Hello, I'm Claudia Fernandez, and I am the Varsity Reporter, and tonight we are at the News Journal at Daytona Beach for the Volusia County Dance Assessment. So let's go have some fun. So what is the dance assessment all about? Well, the dance assessment is very much like a formative assessment like we do in, in the regular classrooms. This is an opportunity for uh, students and ensembles, uh, individual students and the whole group within the school to be evaluated on a, on a number of um, aspects of dance performance. Uh, and it's, uh, it's a non-competitive uh, event. I mean, there's no winners or losers on this. And it's, it's just, uh, there's three adjudicators giving their professional opinions about their dance performance abilities. And what does this mean to you personally? Well, what it, it means a lot to me personally on several levels. One, it's a great way to advocate for, for the performing arts and uh, we, and to bring this to light to the Volusia County community to show them the, the, the quality of instruction, the quality of performance that's going on in, in music, dance, and theater throughout Volusia County. Uh, dance programs, by and large, don't get the, the, the same kind of, uh, they're not as visual uh, of, a, of a group as, like, say, the instrumental music programs at schools and, and even the vocal programs and theater programs. So this is a great way to get them out in, in the public spotlight so that people can see what great teaching and great learning is going on. Uh, and when this is the third year that we've, we've done this, and, uh, and each year, uh, it becomes uh, more effective. The teachers get more out of it. The students get more out of it, and um, and it's a and it's a great way to showcase what we do in Volusia County. Now I'd like to have all of our illustrious teachers to come out and be recognized for their hard work. Come on out, ladies. <laughs> That's beautiful. Um, what are the judges, what do the judges base on like the dancers? What do they judge them about? What are the comments mainly about? Well, it, it has to do, well, I, a lot of it has to do with individual dance technique. Uh, and it has to do with ensemble concepts. Are those individual, those individual techniques that are being taught, are they consistent throughout the ensemble? Does the choreo choreography match the music that it, that accompanies the the, the movements uh, is there is there a, a sense of shape to the the choreography and phrasing and and all those things that are very much related to music. Um, 
but mo I think in most of them are looking at is uh, individuals. Well, wasn't this an amazing dance assessment? All the high schools did an amazing job. I'm especially proud of my school, Spruce Creek High School. Congratulations to all the high school students. Watch out for that tree. Here's Ariana McCollin with her report on the Tarzan play, followed by Brianne Breslin with a Mr. and Mrs. Spruce Creek pageant preview. Hello, this is Ariana McCollum with Hawk TV, bringing you the production of the play Tarzan. I'm here with Brian Heisey. And what's your role in this play? I'm Tarzan. You're Tarzan. Okay. Well, what's your favorite part about being Tarzan? Um, the rehearsals. They're a lot of fun. I'm here with the little stars of the play who are... I'm Lindsay. I'm Brooke. I'm Nick. I'm Kyle. Did you guys love playing this play or what? Oh, yeah. yeah. How did you guys yeah. enjoy it? Yes. So what did you guys think the hardest part about this was? Um, it was just really fun. I don't really know what was really hard. I think like opening night was the hardest because yeah, this we were, is like the first like professional. Yes, professional play. play. And then I'm like, oh my gosh, <laughs> if I mess up, all these people are going to see me. Yeah, but it was so awesome at the end because we got a standing ovation. Yeah. <laughs> well, how well, how do you guys do? I thought we did pretty good on the two plays that we've done so far. I think we did pretty good. Hi, I'm here with... Jordan. Ruth. What are your guys' roles in the play? I'm the leopard and I also play the ghost mom. Um, one of the apes as a dancer. Did you guys enjoy working on this play? Oh yeah, definitely. It was like the most fun I've ever had. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome hanging out with everyone and just... It's like a second family. Uh, what's your name? Sarah Potter. And what's your role in this play? Um, I play Jane Porter. What's your favorite part about being Jane? Um, I guess singing with all the people. My favorite dance number, or not even dance number, uh, musical number is one that I do with Tarzan. It's when we first meet. And it's just, it's fun. It's really cute. Really cute. So uh, you and Tarzan, anything happening? No. Okay. <laughs> you guys are just friends? Yeah. Okay. Um, so what was the hardest part about doing this? Um, I've never been in a musical before, so definitely the first night of singing in front of a lot of people, it was very hard. <laughs> you were nervous on opening night? You have no idea. <laughs> um, would you love to do this as a career? or? Yeah, uh, when I graduate this year, I'm actually going to college to major in theater and hopefully be on Broadway one day. It's after the show and I'm here with Tristan Baker. You guys did a great job. How do you think you did? I think we did really well actually. All right, well thank you. Thank you. Ready when you are. Well, that was an amazing show. Great job everyone. This is Ariana McCollum signing off. Go! Hi, I'm Brianne Breslin, and I'm here at the Mr. and Mrs. Spruce Creek auditions. Let's go see what the talent has in store for us today. I'm here with Mr. Bell. Can you tell us a little bit about the competition? Well, the, the pageant has uh, a lot of contestants, and I'm always very envious every year of their amazing talent. So this year I saw about half of them so far, and we've had dancers, we've had musicians, piano players, and, and that was only the first half. So I'm looking forward to seeing the rest, and the competition is always, always uh, really strong, gets stronger every year, so it's going to be an exciting pageant. What's your name? Hi, I'm Katie. What inspired you to do the competition? Well, a lot of my friends decided they were doing it and then they kept telling me, to, like, yeah, you should do it, you should do it, you should do your talent, and it sounded fun, so it's, why not? 
What is your talent? My talent today, or that I'm auditioning, is a point dance routine. Hi, what's your name? Gabriel Savage. Um, are you nervous about the Mr. and Mrs. First Grade competition? No. What inspired you to do the competition? I like music, and I felt that this pageant would be the most illustrious way to voice these talents. What's your name? I'm Kevin Cher. How do you feel about your competition at the contest? Uh, I think I have a chance. There's a lot of uh, singing acts, and I am doing uh, piano and singing this year, so uh, there's a chance that I don't make it, but um, I'm, I'm feeling pretty confident. What are you doing uh, for your talent? Uh, it's uh, disclosed information, but uh, singing and playing piano. There you have it, a sneak peek at the pageant. Good luck to all the contestants. I'm Brianne Breslin signing out. Finally, with our last two events, here is Skylar Theus on the Courtney Rice concert, and then last but not least, Delia Murray with the GSA video. Hi, I'm Skylar Thies here with Hawk News TV reporting to you from the Courtney Ann Rice Benefit. I'm here with Shirley and Lou Rice, the founders of the Benefit. Do you want to tell us how this Benefit got started? We lost our daughter Courtney uh, to Rice Syndrome back in 1999 and we did not want her to be forgotten. So she was a wonderful singer, and she was in color guard at Spruce Creek High. So we thought we would continue on with uh, performing arts, giving scholarships in her name. And it has blossomed in the last, since the year 2000, we started giving uh, the scholarships out, and it's really increased. And with the show and now with the Chocolate Festival, we're in good shape and able to give the scholarships. Now, with the scholarships, do you guys have any criteria for what you base your scholarships on? Three things have to be done. First of all, a student has to be going on to college. Uh, secondly, they have to have participated in the performing arts while they're in, during their high school career. They don't have to be continuing on in performing arts, but uh, had to participate. And they need a recommendation from their, their teacher. Now. If Courtney could see this benefit today, what do you think she would say about that? Oh, I think she would love the fact that we were doing it in her name and encouraging more and more um, young people to participate in the performing arts and get out there and do it. Thank you very much, and Spruce, Creek's give our, Spruce Creek gives our sympathy to you. Oh, thank you, it, but it's because of her that all this is happening. You tell me I'm good for nothing. Somehow I learned it's true. You grab me by the arms and scream, what's the matter with you? Now I see that if I were truly to be myself, I would break my families. I must hold every day in my childhood. a performer for the Spruce Creek Chorus. What song did you sing tonight? I sang Home from Beauty and the Beast. And how did you choose that song? I chose that song because I just, I love the musical. Were you nervous to perform tonight? I was a little nervous, yes. Thank you so much. Thanks. This is Elsa Lyman, a performer with Spruce Creek Color Guard. How do you think you performed tonight? 
Um, I think I did really good, even though I had to improvise at the end. <laughs> and was it a long process coming up with all of your flag work? Um, yeah, it probably took me about a month and a half just to come up with three minutes of work. <laughs> well, all of us here liked your performance very much. Thanks. Thank you so much. <laughs> this is Skylar Thies, signing off. Hi, I'm Julie Murray, reporting for Hawk News Live. I'm here at the GSA's music video shoot, where they'll be supporting anti-bullying and equality. Let's check it out. Hi, I'm here with... Nicole Kabisne. How long have you been in GSA? Two years. What's your role in GSA? I'm the president. How, what gave you the inspiration to make this video? I saw a video online, and I went from it, and I just started, uh, thought it would be a good idea to put it on scan. What do you have to say to kids who deal with bullying on a daily basis? To seek help, there's guidance, teachers, GSA, which is a safe place for them to come talk. Thank you. Hi, I'm here with Mrs. Buddy. And what made you choose to sponsor the GSA? Well, about six years ago, I was approached by a group of students that wanted to start a GSA here at Spruce Creek but had no sponsor. And since it's a cause I really believe in, I decided it would be a good club for me to sponsor. What type of events do you do? We participate in all the school events like carnival and uh, field night and all that. And we also try and get involved in local pride events. Uh, for example, Stetson has a GSA workshop every year in the spring and we've attended it every year that they've held it. When does the club meet? We meet on Thursdays at lunch in my classroom B11. Thank you. Well, the GSA supported a good cause today by promoting anti-bullying and equality. This is Julie Murray signing out. Now here's the video. Gay, lesbian, and bisexual teens are four times more likely to commit suicide than straight ones. 78% of gay teens are teased or bullied. Being an American is what having to be who you are, gay or straight. One out of three LGBT kids attempt suicide. 9 out of 10 LGBT students experience harassment. The Day of Silence is an annual event where students take a day-long vow of silence to symbolically represent the silence suffered by bullying victims of the LGBT or lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender community. This event was started by GLSEN to protest the bullying and harassment of LGBT students. Anyone can participate in this. The number of gays and lesbians is approximately 8.8 .8 million. 40% of all homeless kids identify as LGBT. One million children are being raised by same-sex couples. Estimated one million lesbian and gays are veterans. Every day I hear about kids getting bullied in school. We, we can, can end, end the harassment, harassment today. today. Never doubt that a small group of committed people can change the world. No child deserves to be bullied. Do not tolerate anti-homosexual slurs. Well, I hope you enjoyed this edition of Spruce Creek AM. Thanks for watching. This is Taylor Wren signing off.